Welcome everyone, I'm Sarah Sablacek, and in this video, we're going to introduce you to some new features that you can look forward to in ANSYS Mechanical R2 2022. The Structural Optimization Analysis has several new features that expand the possibilities of your optimized designs. Now, for the Level Set Optimization Method, you can create a watertight design that encloses a given set of faces using the new housing manufacturing constraint. Optimization often generates designs that includes holes and perforations. The housing constraint enables you to create watertight designs, a required manufacturing constraint for liquid containers. Also, the pull-out direction constraint offers a new property, pull-out option, that you can specify as stamping or no hole. Stamping enables you to create a design that is more compatible with the stamping or forging process, and the no hole lets you make sure the design does not have any perforations. The member size constraint also has a new property, gap size. This property keeps a minimum distance between members. In addition, when you use level set optimization method, design constraints are now supported, including cyclic, symmetry, plane symmetry, and pattern repetition. Finally, this release includes a new method based on the density-based method. The new mixable density method is streamlined and better aligned to the overall structural optimization framework. This implementation paves the way for new future capabilities. The newly designed mechanical add-ons ribbon features a selection of ANSYS provided add-ons. Quick access from the ribbon eliminates the need to open the extensions manager. There are 14 add-ons organized into functional areas based on available licensing. Click an add-on once to load it. This opens a custom tab and ribbon for that add-on with its specialized tools. New add-ons include force response for turbo machinery applications, NVH toolkit for noise vibration and harshness studies, bolt tools in the mechanical toolkit, and sintering process and distortion compensation for additive manufacturing. From the add-ons ribbon, either click the add-on again to unload it or keep it loaded so that when you close mechanical, it will automatically load again the next time you open the application. The coupled field static analysis now enables you to simulate thermoelectric and structural thermoelectric coupling. During the coupled field static analysis, you can simulate thermoelectric effects such as joule heat, as well as Seebeck, Peltier, and Thompson effects using the electric physics type. This analysis supports structural, thermal, and electric boundary conditions, results in probes, and heat convergence and current conversions plots. These updates enable easier workflows for sensor design, MEMS devices, and actuators. The coupled field transient analysis now supports structural and electric physics through piezoelectric coupling, as well as the combination of piezoelectric coupling with acoustic physics. Here's an analysis that includes piezoelectric coupling with structural and electric physics interaction. Physics region options define bodies with structural electric or charge-based physics and structural physics. These updates enable easier workflows to model piezoelectric and acoustic degrees of freedom together. The simulation supports all associated boundary conditions, results, and probes supported for acoustics, structural, and electric physics. Also note that a new materials library provides reference properties for materials used in piezoelectric analysis. For additive manufacturing, start your simulation with one of our add-ons, whether you'll be simulating a laser powder bed fusion process, a directed energy deposition process, or a sintering process. In powder bed fusion analysis, capture local effects of the scan pattern on your parts using either of two new strain definitions for inherent strain simulations, scan pattern and machine learning thermal strain. Both strain definitions allow you to input parameters to define a common rotating stripe scan pattern. In this example of a helix-shaped part, 
a simple change in rotation angle of the scan pattern resulted in nearly 15% reduction in maximum deformation. Machine learning thermal strain prediction provides the highest level of fidelity much faster than simulation, allowing you to see the effects of changing process parameters on real parts. Our machine learning model has been trained to predict the thermal strain results order of magnitude faster than simulation. Our data shows speed up is up to three orders of magnitude faster than simulation for the average thermal strain generation per layer. When performing directed energy deposition simulations, we offer the flexibility of either reading G code machine files or defining the weld path directly. We can read more G-code items at this release so you can now vary the feed rate, dwell time, and preheat temperature from layer to layer. You can now translate or rotate the G-code well path for more versatile positioning in relation to the build part. Other improvements to DED simulations include the ability to add radiation effects and reduce result file sizes for more manageable solutions. Our new Sintering Process add-on includes a step-by-step -step wizard to help you set up your simulation. Choose an ANSYS-defined sintering material, set up your sintering schedule, and then solve to predict the shrinkage and gravitational deformation during the sintering process. Gain insights by reviewing other results such as relative density, uniaxial viscosity, center stress, and grain size. Finally, increase your control over additive manufactured parts by compensating their starting geometries so that they build within tolerances. Our new distortion compensation add-on automatically iterates through solutions and generates an optimized compensation geometry so that the geometry deforms to within the desired tolerance range after loading or processing. Use this feature when simulating laser powder bed fusion or sintering processes. The LS Dyna Workbench system now supports new material models, including materials for damage applications. The viscoelastic material model enables you to define time-dependent material behavior with support for shear and volumetric relaxation. And the gizmo and erosion damage models enables you to simulate damage for all LS Dyna material models. 